Dear students, so this is an introductory lecture on pointers in C programming. So the learning outcome for the current lecture is that understanding the concepts of C pointers, why they are used, how they function, what are the expected inputs and what are the expected outputs. So these things will be discussed in detail through this video lecture. So this is a general introduction about pointers. It is one of the most powerful tool available in C programming. And uh, they are mainly used when we are using functions that involves call by reference method. Then creating and manipulating dynamic data structures is achievable through pointers. So that is basically a higher end use of pointers where we can have dynamic memory allocation. Okay, so we can have memory allotted for a particular variable at the runtime. We'll discuss that in detail in further lectures. So what are pointers? They are variables that stores memory addresses rather than values. When we define a normal variable, when we define a variable as integer data type. So it is expected to store integer values in that particular variables. But when we define something as a pointer, so instead of value, it will be storing the address of the value or the memory location. Okay, that is what is getting stored in pointers. Then there are mainly two unary operators. Unary operators are those operators which have just one operand, just like B++ or count++. So there will be just one operand and, and there will be an operation tag which does the operation. So there are two unary operators which we frequently use when we are using pointers. One is the dereferencing operator or it also called as value pointed by. Okay, it is normally represented as a strict or a star, and it is used to retrieve value from a memory location. Okay, it is called as value pointed by or dereferencing operator. The other one is referencing operator or the address of operator, which is normally the ampersand or the AND symbol. And this is to assign address of a variable to a pointer. Okay. So these things we can see in detail using a simple example. So you can see here what we have is a series of shells stacked in a room. So you can note that the different shelf is having a variable name or a name and there is a number. So this basically is number is a location or address location. And this is the name. So if I consider this particular shelf, it is having the name as C and address as 209. This one is having the name as J and the address as 214. Okay. Now, <coughs> consider that particular arrangement of the shelves are meant for storing these data. <coughs> so these are the different name of the shelf owners and these are the address and this is the locker name and this is the content of the each locker okay so you can see here the locker name a okay so here we have this e is the locker name and 209 is the local number locker number or the locker address and it belongs to the name that is placed in the each row okay so we are considering one example. Say I'm considering the locker owned by Strange. Okay. The name of the owner is Strange and the address of his locker is 208. The name of his locker is D and the content inside the locker is Timestone. Okay. So when we see this, so the content value, which means the content or value that is stored in the locker name D is timestone. Or say we can say that in the particular locker that is having name D, 
the value is time stone okay so d is equal to time stone now when we are thinking of the address so we have the variable or the locker name d the address of the locker is 208 okay so when we want to get the address of a variable we use the address of operator or the referencing operator which is the ampersand or the and sign so when i do this strange is equal to and d so what it does it it relate the address of d to strange address of d is 208 so 208 is linked to the name strange where strange is something what we can call as a pointer so this strange will be holding the address of the locker name d which is 208 so you can find that inside string there will be a value 208 so the address of locker name d which is stored in strings and then if we want to access the content of the locker owned by strings okay so if you want to access this content what you can do is you need to access the value inside the locker name d that is if i'm using and strange what it does is it will check what is the value that is available in the address stored in strange the address stored in strange is 208 okay 208 corresponds to the locker name d so when i use star strange or when i use star 208 okay star is d referencing op operator or the value pointed by so when i say star strange it means that the value pointed by strange the value pointed by strange is the content of locker d which is time stone so star strange will be time stone similarly and d will be stored in strange so i want you to spend one more minute okay and focus on what is happening here because if this concept is clear that is all what we want to know about the basics of pointers okay so each locker is having a name and an address it is having some content inside and each locker is associated to a person so here the locker name is the variable name the owner name is the pointer okay so the address is 208 which will be stored in the pointer okay so the pointer will be storing the address of the variable and if you want to access what the pointer is point to pointing to so we use the dereferencing operator asterisk okay so star strange will point to the value that is available in this particular address which is time stone okay and we can see that a variable refers a value directly okay when we say locker d okay locker d it directly tells time stone but if i want to use strange okay the value in strange the value in strange is actually an address if i want to get the time stone what i need to do is i need to use an indirect approach so i will use the dereferencing operator which will actually show the value stored in the address stored in the pointer okay so that is a indirect reference to the value fine thus <coughs> here d is a variable that holds time stone and strange is a pointer that holds the value 208 which is address of variable d okay that is a basic concept that we want to understand what a variable name is what a pointer name is what is address of a variable and what is the value stored in a variable and the value stored in a pointer the value stored in a variable is the value itself the value stored in a pointer is the address of the variable that is the concept that we want to grab here okay now let's see how to define a pointer just like defining a variable we need to define pointers also okay so before using the pointer we need to define what type of data we are expecting inside the pointer okay we are giving an example say if i say in count 
okay where count is a variable so when i define such an when i make such a statement what it does is it defines a variable count where we are expecting the data type to be integer so the system will prepare this particular variable with enough memory to store a integer data type okay when we use an operation like this that is int this i should be small letter int star count ptr here count ptr is a pointer name count is a variable name count ptr is a pointer name for the system to understand that it is a pointer name we need to use this asterisk so when we put it like this the system will understand it is a pointer okay and this pointer will be pointing to a variable which holds an integer type data okay this pointer will be holding the address of a variable which is integer okay that's how we are defining a pointer okay counter ptr count ptr that is the pointer name points to a variable that is having a data type as integer okay so we need to define pointers before assigning some values to it just like variables we need to have the definition first then only we can assign values okay similar is the case of pointers now consider the small piece of code so int count equal to 7 so there is a variable which is having data type integer and a value 7 is assigned to it and i am defining a pointer that is which is going to point a variable that holds integer data type okay and now i am doing this operation so count ptr is equal to and count which means that when i put and in front of a variable name this will give the output as the address of count or the memory location of count so the memory location or the address of the count will be stored in the pointer count ptr okay so let's see this when i use this particular statement the a memory location will be reserved and in that memory location the value 7 is stored okay that is what is happening in the first line and when i do this operation okay so i defined a pointer so the memory location for the pointer is available and this memory location in the pointer okay will be holding the address of this particular location okay so the 7 can be accessed directly by using count which is direct which will directly give you the value 7 but if you want to get the value 7 using the pointer we need to use star count ptr which is also equal to 7 okay that is the indirect reference now let's see a simple program that will explain the concept of pointers okay say i am using the library include the library the main body of the function is available i am defining two variables a and b having integer data type and i am giving some values okay i defined uh, a equal to 20 b equal to 10 okay so current values of a and b are 20 and 10 now i am defining a pointer and it is defined as data type integer which means that this pointer will be pointing to a variable that can hold integer data type okay so i'm going for this one a ptr i know that a is a integer okay so the address of the integer can be stored in a ptr so this is what i'm doing here when i say a ptr the address of a and a and a means address of a will be stored in a ptr okay then i'm printing the value of uh, the value in variable a and variable b is i'm printing the values in a and b okay then i'm printing the value in pointer a ptr okay what i did is a ptr is and a so the a ptr pointer will be having the value that is address of a so the address of a will be printed here then i used b equal to star a ptr this is the dereferencing operator a strict which means that whatever value this particular a ptr is pointing to will be stored in b okay 
and then I'm doing the output. Now let's see what is happening here. Okay, when I'm giving this particular statement that is a equal to 20, b equal to 10, the system allocates two memory locations. So I have given some uh, random memory location number. So the variable a, which is integer type, has this memory location 2293308, and it holds a value 20 because we assigned a equal to 20. Similarly, B is another memory location, okay, a variable. It is having some other memory location, 229-3323, and it holds the value 10, okay. Now, when I make this particular statement, that is address of A is getting stored in APTR, where APTR is a pointer. On doing this, what happens is that the address, okay, the address of A, address of A is 229-3308, will be stored as the content or the value in the variable APTR. This is a pointer variable, okay? So 229-3308, which is the address location of A, will be stored in APTR. And APTR will be having some other reference number or the location number, okay, which we are not bothered about. Okay, so on this statement, address of A, which is 229-3308, is getting stored as a value in APTR. Now, when I do this statement, that is what is done here, B equal to star APTR, which is the dereferencing operator. Okay, when I do this, what happens is that star APTR, which means that dereferencing operator, value pointed by APTR which means that the value inside APTR is this. This is pointing to the memory location here, which is 20. Okay. So when I do star APTR, the value what I will get is 20 because the value in APTR is this, which is the address of variable A, which holds a value 20. Okay. So star APTR is 20 and that need to be assigned to B. So what happens is that the value in B will be changing to 20 on doing this operation. Okay, the value in B will be replaced by the value pointed by APTR. The value pointed by APTR is 20. So this becomes A and B is equal to 20. Okay, now let's see how the output will be. Okay, so the first the value in variable A and B is, okay, so A is 20, B is 10, that got printed. Now, the value in pointer APTR, the pointer APTR holds the address of A, that is 229-3308, that will be printed. And the third case, I am assigning dereferencing operator, that is star APTR to B, okay. When I do that, the value in B changes to 20. Now, if I print it, the variable A is holding a value 20, variable B is holding a value 20, the output will be the value in variable A and B is 20 and 20. Okay, so this is basically what happens when we use the pointer, the referencing operator, and dereferencing operator. This is a very simple program. If you understand this program properly, that's all the basics that you want to get to know about pointers. Thank you.